people have expressed doubts about um, the seriousness of the CBDC situation uh, to me. Even after uh, pretty much everything I've been saying for years has been uh, coming to fruition. And um, what I said years ago, nearly three years ago at this point, um, was that the pandemic would be used as an excuse for a bunch of contact-free tracing um, mechanisms, and that those tracing mechanisms would be hooked up to um, the new contact-free uh, digital ID, or ID2020 system that they were building, and that that system was running on the same blockchain technology that the digital dollar project was. I proved years ago that Accenture, um, the Rockefellers, Microsoft, and Bill Gates in general, um, and a bunch of sister organizations were planning on launching CBDCs. And um, I, I pretty much, like, there were basically nobody covering the story. Basically, nobody knows who Accenture is. You know, even people who claim that they understand this situation don't know who Accenture is. Uh, they didn't look into any of the board members or any of the partners with the ID2020 alliance. Most people are fucking clueless, and they have been for years. But while they've been being clueless, the elites, the state, have been proving me right time and time again. And, um, you know, with with the recent proofs that this kind of society will benefit the rich and harm the poor, um, with the recent, you know, uptick in support for this sort of thing, and with even people like Jordan Peterson saying you should link your government ID to your social media, um, I think it's a good time to bring up information from the horse's mouth. Now, uh, for those of you who don't know, the Atlantic Council is basically a propaganda organization and think tank for the globalist elites, um, and they work with governments heavily, all the fucking time. Um, and they also are, you know, closely affiliated with the Pointer Institute, which does fact-checking for Facebook and a bunch of other social media uh, companies. Um, and, you know, so when, when people like Jordan Peterson tell me that I should link my ID to social media, um, I tell I tell them to go fuck themselves, because that's part of what this whole thing is. This whole thing is designed to coalesce your entire digital identity around a um, digital currency, um, so that your digital currency can be used as a control mechanism, and so that your digital identity can be used to control everything in your life. Um, I went over the, the dystopian nature of all of this in a video not too long ago where I talked about the Fido conference and how it's basically like everything that the elites have been wanting for a long time and that it's all sponsored by the same kinds of people who've wanted you to have one login for everything. Um, it's not good. It's very bad. But these people will do it anyway because, of course, they will. Um... That's their job, to do very bad things. Um, but, you know, when people hear of this, they oftentimes, even if they're in these alleged truth or in libertarian circles, they will accuse me of being some sort of just zany, out of the, out of the, the, the fucking uh, scope of reality, just fucking office rocker, tinfoiler, conspiracy theorist. Like, because I'm saying things that are true. And they'll also say that um, that they won't win, that we're already winning, that that there's no way that this is going to succeed or work. Um, but newsflash to these first worlders, it's already working in so many fucking countries, and they have the fucking gall to gloat about it. They are showing you an active scoreboard on an Atlantic Council monitored fucking site. 
um, called the CBDC Tracker, the Central Bank Digital Currency Tracker. And I thought I would show you guys them rubbing it in your face that I was right, so that I can also rub it in your face that I was right. Um, now, if you decide that uh, that you benefit from this content, feel free to drop some money, um, because I need it. I need to pay rent, I'm not paid by the globalists, and ultimately, this content relies on support from people like you, if you want to see it continue. But, um, yeah, that is uh, <clears throat> my sort of awkward lead-up to talking about a different type of currency, not the kind that will pay my rent and shit like that. Um, so without further ado, here is their central bank digital currency tracker, just fresh off the fucking presses for you. And they have ni this nice little server graphic for it, too. They want you to think that this is, oh, it's so fucking cool. This is like the Matrix, you know, but it's fucking... <laughs> it's it's your enslavement. This is your enslavement, guys. What exactly is a central bank digital currency, CBDC? A CBDC is a virtual money backed and issued by a central bank. As cryptocurrencies and stable coins have become more popular, the world's central banks have realized that they need to provide an alternative or let the future of money pass them by. <laughs> Look at that fucking glib ass fucking bullshit. Look at this fucking plain coy garbage. Like, holy shit. So, we get here, and and you can see that like they have they have fucking pastel colors. They want this to look as friendly as fucking possible. Um, but you can you can hover. You can see that Australia. Uh, sorry, New Zealand. Let's just start with New Zealand because. I accidentally hovered over that first, that they're researching it right now to use in retail transaction, that Australia um, <laughs> is is in development as we speak to create an Ethereum central bank digital currency uh, under Project Dunbar, that Japan is in development of uh, an intermediated uh, architecture blockchain-based digital ID called Project Stella. Uh, you can see that China has had one for fucking ever, and it's in its pilot, its use cases is for, like, all sorts of transactions, it's intermediated, um, and it's an MCBDC bridge. Um, that's the thing that they used to silence dissent by shutting off people's phones, saying that, hey, you got too close to somebody who had COVID, uh, we're gonna say that, even though our real reason is that we don't like you protesting our government policies. Um, you know, uh, <laughs> fucking multiple European countries already have it, because that's that's what this is. You can see that it's in its pilot stage right now. Sweden has it. Um, it, it it's in its development stage in Norway. Um, fucking Europe in general is in development. Uh... <laughs> Nigeria has one uh, launched already that it's in retail, that it's an intermediated architecture using DLT, and it's through Bit Incorporated. Um, you, you can see them. You can see them all. Brazil is getting one, that it's in its, uh, its development stages uh, through an access token. Canada is, is like already in development of one through Project Jasper. And, you know, all of these people have one. India? India is getting, like, getting one in development, and they already do a central currency that, that, that operates with apps. You know, fucking so many. Fucking Egypt is inactive, but they, they, they're thinking about it, you know? <laughs> fucking the, South Africa is in pilot program through Project Dunbar. So many of these African countries are getting one in order to participate in the new globalist economy. Fucking um, Ghana has one in pilot through the Gisek and De De Devriant program. So many. So fucking many. Uh, including Senegal, which canceled theirs, but don't be surprised if they get another one very soon. Uh, Russia, even? Russia has one. It's in its pilot stages, and it's through Spare Bank, VTB, and Gasompunk. And so, 
Russia has one. Uh, fucking Kazakhstan has one in pilot program. Uh, <laughs> so many of them. Turkey has one uh, in development. Everyone has one. Okay? I, I really want you to isolate this in your brain that every one of these places that's colored has one. And that the ones that aren't colored are just fresh meat for the IMF and company. So, the U.S. is is getting theirs. They're in research. And this is the research that I was fucking talking about and getting called insane for. Um, but let's be super clear here. It's not just these countries doing this. It's not just them. It's also the IMF in general. Which is why uh, you get fucking articles uh, like, you know, so many articles about how the global finance elite are are planning central bank digital currencies. Like this one, uh, which was by Seek for Truth on Activist Post. I'm pretty sure it's a, re a repost. But it's like Netherlands. The Queen of Netherlands of, like, is, is planning one of these. The managing director of the IMF. The deputy managing director of the IMF. Bank for International Settlements is working with this. The Bank of Indonesia. Bloomberg. All of them. Every major financial bigwig is planning this right now. So if you think you have a choice as to whether or not the US dollar, which they already control, will be switched over to the CBDC that I've been warning you all for about for nearly three years, basically you're fucking blind. You don't see it or you don't choose to see it you're either willfully or unwillfully blind because the imf is currently planning this so many countries are currently planning this it's being planned whether you like it or not and unless your politician that you're voting for has a solution to that your politician has jack shit on the plate for your freedom Unless they have a plan to say no to this, unless they have a plan to resist the new financial paradigm, they are ushering you into a dystopia where you will be controlled by central banks. And if you don't like that, you should protest now and stop calling people like me insane conspiracy theorists because I was right the whole fucking time and I'm tired of people insisting that I wasn't or waiting for proof when I've had it for years. And when there's more of it, and more of it, and more of it building. Um, I posted about this on agoristnexus.com. I wrote an article called Panopticon Rising, COVID-19 and the Elite Enslavement Plan. I, I, I wrote a another article about why people should be let go. I wrote another article on how the pandemic response worsened people's health, and it wasn't really for that. I wrote another article on the Great Reset and how that's one of the final ways that they're planning on all of this by their sustainable development goals through Agenda 2030. I wrote an article on how the dollar itself is worse for the planet than any cryptocurrency, and even if it wasn't, they're getting a cryptocurrency of their own, and it's going to be bad for the fucking environment too if these are already. Um, and I keep on writing these articles, and I keep on writing things like shouting into the void about how I'm shouting into the void, because I keep getting called insane, I keep getting downplayed, I keep getting blacklisted. But let me, let me, let me also just say this, I'll read, I'll read, I'll read a tweet that I wrote not too long ago, because I think it's valuable to bring this back up, that if you have a show and you want to talk about this, um, CBDC, facial recognition, digital ID, anti-war stuff, and a history of the U.S. creating en enemies, anti-corruption and anti-bank stuff, something that I said that you want to debate me on and more, my DMs are open. Like, I'm willing to talk, you know? But, like, I keep getting downplayed. I keep getting told that I'm just insane or that, like, I don't have enough facts. I have all the facts. I have every fact I need, and I've had them for years. And I'm consistently right about this. But 
uh, enough people want to think that I'm wrong about the things that I talk about that they blacklist me. They insult me behind my back. They kicked me out of spaces, including alleged unity groups. They do all this because they don't actually have an argument against what I have to say, and because it's easier to censor and control me and try to blackball me than it is to actually try to counter anything I say. That would involve research and facts and logic and having a solid ethical framework and these people don't have any of that so if you decide that you want to continue supporting this content feel free because basically every month i scrape for rent and i would appreciate your help in not doing that so links are in the description uh you can continue to support this content by liking sharing and subscribing there's a lot of stuff that's coming and a lot more that's going to get me like censored in many circles blackballed and many others but i'm going to keep doing it because i'm right and because cbdc is the most important issue of our time and if you disagree you are ignoring the writing on the wall willfully especially if you got to this point in the video which most people won't but hey you know if you if you want to be blind to this just don't be surprised when you start hearing some noise from me and the people who actually give a shit about all this smashing the fucking state.